Hello beauties, how are you all doing? Shas here with another to buy or not to buy. I'm gonna coin an acronym for this, T-B-O-N-T-B. -T That's gonna be the acronym that I'm gonna start using. In these videos, I talk about makeup that has released or restocked, what we're gonna be excited about, what we're gonna ditch, what you know we're not gonna pick up, what we're gonna purchase, all that good stuff. I also encourage you to not forget to write to me in the comments below what your thoughts are on the stuff I'm going to be talking about, or maybe there are releases I forgot to talk about, and you can remind me of those. Also in this video, I'm going to do this eye look with Lavender Skies palette from Gloss Gods. I'm so excited about this new release. Beauties, I already have a few videos on my channel about Gloss Gods. This is one of my favorite European indie brands. And this palette is a purple dream. You all know how much I love purple. Well, if you follow me, and if you don't follow me, well, how about pressing that subscribe button below? Also pressing the bell so that you get notified every time I post new things. And if you're enjoying this type of content, also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Let's go into the video. I have a whole stack of stuff here that I've purchased recently. Most of these I told you all that I'm going to buy. You know, we have Delicious Delights from Cosmic Brushes. I'm doing a video with this right now. I'm doing, um, you know, the eye looks and so on. We have Warriors Wear Pink. I mentioned that I'm purchasing this in one of my to buy or not to buys. We have Beauty's Aura Struck. I'm loving this palette. A little large, but you know what I love about ColourPop palettes is that you can get these out. So in case you didn't know this, ColourPop's palettes are all magnetic. You can get one of these magnet tools, these, and get these out. And I have started making my own custom palettes beauties. I'll tag my first custom palette video below that I made for the month of July. And I'm planning on doing that on the monthly. And I mentioned in that video as well that these kinds of palettes are ideal for that because you know I might not have a green single, but I might be like, oh, Phenomenon is a fantastic color to use. So yeah, I love ColourPop for that. And there's a lot of brands that do that. So I'm so excited for having this palette. And then beauties, the things we're gonna be using today, I have these three. I was so, so, so excited. I didn't mention to you all exactly what I purchased from Gloss Gods, but I bought these three and I also bought, you know, I bought the whole bundle that came new. So these two and this, and then you know what? I was like, you know, I'm already paying some ridiculous price for shipping. Let me also get this one because I love Gloss Gods. If you didn't know, I'll tag the videos that I have of Gloss Gods past palettes below. Yeah, so I'm probably going to do a video with all of these. So today we're going to use this beauty. This is the one that has some mattes in it. So I'm going to use the mattes and the shimmers so that I don't have to go into any other palette. You already know this. I mentioned it in the intro. But I quickly wanted to mention an issue I had with this one, which is that... Here it is. This palette came, oh my goodness, with this one broken. And an issue I have with that, you all know how much I hate matte blacks. This pan is ruining my life right now. Let me tell you all that this color gets attracted to magnet. I don't know what's in it. I'm wondering if it has some sort of a metal in it but if i get a magnet too close it's gonna absorb all the pigment and it's gonna literally like this whole thing is gonna come out of its pan oh my goodness i've thought about completely depotting it because i can i think you all can see the issue with that it has caused on my palette it has literally gotten all over everything and because it's crumbled it's gotten everywhere don't get me started but the problem here, the core problem here is that there is a magnet right there. And I think you all can see some pieces of it that's attracted to that magnet. And the reason it, even after putting it back and repressing it, it keeps getting out of the pan is that, that it keeps getting attracted to the magnet that's over there. Anyway, I contacted Gloss Gods about this issue, sent them photos and so on. I'm still waiting to hear back about what they can do about this because this palette, honestly, the whole palette is ruined. It's like... It has black paint all over it. And for how much I paid for this palette, I'm not happy about that. 
We, and that is part of the, you know, it's gotten all over everything, this black color. Thankfully, I didn't get too much on my hand. I, I'm making sure I'm not going to get dark black paint over everything else. But we're going to be using this today, and I'm excited to get started. But as I mentioned, it is a to buy or not to buy, so let me go over here. And I have my coffee here, as always. Feel free to get your coffee, tea, water, juice, wine, rosé, whatever you're into, beauties. We're going to be chilling, talking about what's released recently. In fact, truth is, I haven't even had the chance to look. I have been insanely busy in the past few days. I'm also trying to be a little bit more active on my both social media as well as my channel. So, uh, and you all have been giving me some great ideas. So I'm, I'm working on some things. So in case I didn't mention, I'm going to try to use as many of these as I can. Of course, this is for water liner, so maybe not this one, but the four that came with the whole bundle that I purchased. I'm going to be using these. So before everything, let me talk about, I don't know, giveaways and restocks and things like that. So it seems like Cosmic Brushes is going to have a giveaway. They're going to give away their Delicious Delights, the palette that I just showed. And the entry details is on their Instagram and it's going to end on the 21st. Bella Beauty Bar has restocked Smoky Glam. It's open for the next pre-order. Don't forget to use a code if you're ordering from Bella Beauty Bar. They've been super active recently. Of course, so much is launching and restocking. I don't think I'm going to have time to purchase a lot of these new things. There's one thing that's going to be launching and restocking and you think I think you all know what I'm going to be talking about but that's the one thing I'm going to spend my money on for the rest of July and then maybe we'll do a no buy August. I have my eyes only on one possible thing for August beauties. I think Laminatrix is going to drop something and you all know how much I'm in love with that brand. So if they drop something, I might pick it up. But other than that, I'm planning on a no buy in August so that I have time to use all of these things and make videos for you all. Let's talk about this one. What is this? Oh my goodness, Tammy Tanuka again. It's a little bit difficult to tell based on the photos, but they look like they might be cream shadows and beauties. I have mentioned time and time again in these to buy or not to buy how much I want to use Tammy Tanuka. Now I do have some potential news. Now this is not exactly something that is necessarily happened yet or is definitely going to happen, but there is a possibility I'm going to leave the U.S. It might not happen, but uh, I am being considered for some abroad opportunities and the reason I'm mentioning that is because Tammy Tanuka is a Russian brand and I'm just wondering if there is a way to get it ordered to other countries I'm guessing maybe most countries that are having issues with what's happening with Russia these days are not going to deliver this but you never know you never know and by the way way beauties I just noticed that I never showed you all my nails so let's do that this is what I'm wearing this is from Impress in collaboration with Tom Cheek. I bought it from Target. Of course, the ones that are missing, I'm wearing right now. This was super beautiful and I'm loving it. It's so nice. Uh, I do have some personal perspectives on Impress. Maybe I'll do a separate video about nails specific, but the color story is kind of glam and kind of grungy and I love that. You know, this is a little bit more olive green. It's not super flashy gold back to the releases beauties this one i'm super excited about sydney grace announced their christmas in july sale this is another one that i'm picking up from but when i was talking about only picking one thing earlier i was thinking about another release but i'm actually super excited about this one too i have already made a list of what i'm picking up because you all have told me sydney grace has amazing mats and who's now getting started with making custom palettes this person over here so i need to buy some more mats evidently they're also releasing a few things there is a love journey palette they have already released a photo of this palette it's all neutrals so not for me but there's going to be a heaven on earth palette if by the time i'm editing this video i have a photo i'll put up and the raspberry kiss palette i'm just guessing that the raspberry kiss is gonna have some color Raspberry is my 
favorite fruit or one of my favorite fruits. Uh, so hopefully it's going to have some reds, maybe some pinks. And then there's going to be Mad About You Brow and a new 2023 mystery bag and a few other things. I'm going to put the details of this sale on the screen. But long story short, they're going to have a special on the daily. I also think during this sale, they have a percentage off of their items. On the last day of the sale beauties, they have 40% off of their single shadows. The issue though is I don't know if I can wait until the last day of the sale because all the good things might be gone by then. But they're having specials on the daily and I'm excited about this. Beauty Fenty is releasing the Fenty Icon Velvet Liquid Lipstick in a new color called Pink Limousine. Not limousine, but a limousine. This product is already available on Fenty website. It's going to be $29. I'm guessing it might also be available at Sephora. Is this releasing because of the Barbie movie? I feel like everywhere is exploding with the Barbie pink color. Now, I am the insanely lucky human being that Barbie pink on my lips actually looks good because I have beauties, a little bit of color theory. Pinks look good on people with cool undertone because pink has cool undertones. So this kind of color miraculously looks good on my skin. But $29 for a shade, although I've never tried Fenty. I'm going to try to pass, but we'll see. Okay, beauties, we have something from Victoria Beckham, and I rarely talk about like skincare stuff because I don't know a whole lot about skincare. I also figure it's very specific to people so not everybody is gonna wear all kinds of skincare it's victoria beckham times augustinus bader power serum it says it encourages repair and renewal at a cellular level and strengthens skin barriers and improves overall radiance protects against blue light and pollution it's available now it's $125 for 15 milligram or $210 for 30 milligram. Beauties, if this really does all of that, maybe it's worth it. Honestly, a lot of times with skincare stuff, I feel like a lot of it is a gimmick and it doesn't do a whole lot. And, you know, half of the stuff they say, renewal at cellular level, what does that even mean? And beauties, if you know anything about how amazing this oil is let me know but moving on to the next thing that was a little interesting because i can't believe we're already talking about spooky season glam light beauties is now collaborating with ghost face and they're saying this is going to come out in the fall do we think we can guess what the color story is i know nothing about ghost face i didn't even know it was a thing is it like a movie barbie is collab collaborating with zara for a perfume so the perfume is already available. It's $30. You can also buy shimmery lip glosses for $13. Movie gems like Barbie sign and so on for $11 or hair clips for $13. Now, and it seems like this is already available. Now, I don't want to be the person who rains on everybody's parade, but there is a lot of controversy around Barbie being the symbol of beauty and looking extremely unrealistic and being blonde. Which then makes me think, you know, if it applied to the 1950s or almost a century ago, is it something that can be celebrated today in the age of diversity? I don't know. I'm actually curious what you all think. Beauties, I saw this and I don't know what this is. What is Tawa Beauty? Do you all know? Because I think this looks beautiful. And I saw the names and the names kind of sound African. And I am excited about this. These are $25 each or you can buy the whole bundle of six for $130. And they are already available. I don't think I've ever heard of Tawa Beauty, but this looks nice love the design and i like the colors too because we've talked about this the magenta -y, purple -y release at least but this is seems like they now have a few other things released so let's quickly talk about it in case you all are interested just because i don't like bulky gigantic palettes doesn't mean you all shouldn't so the large ones 
the purple one and the orangey brown one are $63. However I think about this beauties. It's just too redundant. And then you can buy the My Purpose brush set for $61. And you know what? I am here for that brush set. Do you all know about the quality of P. Louise brushes? Another thing that I've kind of been waiting on purchasing from P. Louise has been their primer because I've seen a lot of people use it. I've seen a lot of people rave about it. And you all know how much I am interested in trying different kinds of products in this channel. And because my channel is mainly focused on eyeshadow, it totally makes sense to try different kinds of eye primers as well. So I've been eyeing eye primer from P. Louise. It's just that I don't want to pick just a primer. So if this brush set is available, I mean, as I said, $61 looks amazing for these many brushes. It turns out the brush bundle is $267 and it's on sale for $61. That's a great price. Let's continue. This was announced again. I've talked about this a month ago in one of my to buy or not to buys. I was excited for something in the summer, something green particularly, because it is a color that looks good on me. It seems like for some odd reason this palette was delayed, but hey, Sugar Drizzle, if you're watching this, we're waiting, please. Okay, let's talk about this one. This is from Kimchi Chic. It's called Spacey Nudes, and this is an eyeshadow palette. Now, beauties, I know I'm not a neutral loving person, but neutrals are the most common eyeshadow palettes that majority of the people have and use. So having a palette of all neutrals in your portfolio totally makes sense. However, Kim Chi Chic, I'm going to call you out on plastic packaging. Also, the packaging kind of looks drugstore. I'm wondering if there is a reference to something that I'm just not getting because I didn't grow up in the US. Because it comes in that box, right? Like it kind of looks like a wafer or something that you would eat. Am I losing my mind here? Yeah, I can't find anything in the description either. This is $12 though, amazing price. I'm gonna prime my eyes with Painterly from MAC. I am going to go into this beautiful lavender called Dawn. I'm putting this in my crease. Okay, beauties, continuing. I feel like I keep seeing things on this list that are going to contradict what I said earlier when I said I'm just going to look at one thing and pick up one thing this month because this next release, beauties, I'm so excited about. Can you guess which one? Yes, beauties. Fantasy Cosmetica revealed this and they're going to release it on the 20th. Yes, 20th at 11 a.m. CST. Fantasy Cosmetica has had amazing service every time I've purchased from them and I have all of their other palettes and I have a review of all of their other palettes in this channel. I'll tag them in the comments box below if you're curious about my thoughts on the brand. I think their last one, Rogue, was amazing. The quality, the pigmentation, and also the color story beauties. That kind of color story totally goes with me. Purples and teals, beauties. That's just totally my vibe. And these palettes are just amazing. Yeah, realistically, I can't wait to pick this up. Although this palette is very neutral. I don't know if this video is up on my channel yet. But when I received Sugar and Grunge, you already know. I'm going to post a video about that because I did my last to buy or not to buy with Sugar and Grunge from Blend Bunny. One of the eye looks in that video is a cool toned brown smoky look. And when I did that look, I loved that look so much that I thought to myself, I'm going to do a few neutral look videos for you all. And that was part of the reason why when I saw this palette release, I was like, what? I was just thinking about neutral palettes. It almost came to me as if like I manifested this. Also, the past experience I've had with shipping from Pansy Cosmetica has been amazing. They got to me, I think, in two or three days. Very fast shipping. Their pans are magnetic beauties, in case you didn't know. You can get the pans out. And you all know what I was just talking about earlier in this video. So, yeah, this... I love this brand. With my last purchase from Fantasy Cosmetica, I bought two of their perfumes. You all know I travel all the time. I kind of already mentioned in this video that I might even leave the country. And because of all the travels, I always like to have small perfumes that I can travel with. Obviously, these large perfume containers you can't travel with. So 
I'm very interested to see what else they have. And it seems like they're releasing a few other things. Now, the perfumes that I purchased with Rogue, so one of them was with Rogue, one of them was for that first palette, Druid. I really like the scents. I'm not a sweet perfume type of a person, so the scents totally up my alley. They're, they're kind of witty, kind of citrusy. And it seems like they're not releasing additional perfumes. They are releasing a perfume for Fighter Palette that is also releasing with the palette at the same time. It says the fragrance is made in Redmond, Washington. Beauties, I used to live in Issaquah. Oh, I love Washington State. I know exactly where Redmond is. So that's the, where they're from. No wonder I like them. And it says the bottles are hand painted. Oh God, that's so special. It seems like there are different sizes and the different bases. So you can have coconut oil base or you can have alcohol base. I am wondering if this, because because it says it's going to be a perfume of dark chocolate, marshmallow and almond scent with floral accents. I generally like dark chocolate scent. Um, floral accent really depends. I don't want sweets, so I don't know about marshmallow. I don't really know about coconut. I don't know about also musk can be a little bit overbearing if depends, but I love sandalwood. I also like vanilla. Caramelized honey can be sweet. We'll see beauties. We'll see. I'm actually, I'm curious. I don't know. Maybe if I'm purchasing the fighter palette and I kind of am feeling like it, I'll add this to cart, the middle size, you know, the travel friendly size. We've had a lot of like random things releasing and not as many palettes, which is amazing for my budget. But when I say random things, I'm talking about lip stuff like this one. This is from Lisa Eldridge. It's called Velveteen Liquid Lip Color. It's $27 each and it is already available. I recently purchased beauties. Let me show you all the new stuff from ColourPop, the Ultra Matte, some of the Ultra Matte and also some of the Ultra Blotted. Maybe I'll do one of them at the end of this video with the look. I will do that, but I'm still swatching them. I'm still sort of testing them for you all. So am I going to go buy a $27 lip color? Is this also a lip? Yeah, I think this is just liquid lipstick. I'm probably not going to buy a $27 liquid lipstick, but these are available. And now that we're talking about expensive stuff, beauties, Patrick Ta is releasing a few things. Let's talk about some of them. This is called Major Headlines Matte Suede Lipstick. And in all honesty, I like the colors and these colors would look amazing on me. It's just that I don't have $32 to spend on a lipstick. Let's be honest. I don't have that kind of money. And part of the reason I don't have is because I'm going to spend it on something we're going to talk about in a minute. Maybe some of you have this kind of budget. I don't. Beauties, let's talk about this one because Amores or Amor US? Is it Amor US or Amores? Or Amores? I don't know. But this brand is releasing sweet blush set, which are heart shaped blush sticks. And they're already available and they're $30 for the whole bundle or $6 each. And these are super cute. I'm not in the market for blush sticks, beauties. I have a lot of blush sticks that I purchased from ColourPop over the years, and I don't use them that often. I want to go through them before I buy anything new. But what I was going to say is that Amoris or Amor US or Amoris, however the brand is, name is pronounced, I see it at TJ Maxx all the time. I actually think I, the only reason I know about them is because I've seen it at TJ Maxx. But let's talk about this one, beauties. Nomad, that I feel like just released something two weeks ago, is now talking about the spooky season. And they have released this photo. Am I correctly seeing that it's a person on a horse behind, obviously, the photo, the Nomad white logo thingy? Could that be the Headless Horseman? I can't wait to see what they have to share, really. Let's go into this color, which is the darkest color in the pan. You all know where I'm going with this color. This is just gonna go in this outer edge. It's kind of unfortunate because I feel like that black in the other palette could have possibly been used 
together with this palette for a darker effect it's just that that black is completely shattered and continues to ruin things so very sad to say i'm thinking about depotting it all together although the color is a little bit pastel and i've mentioned to you all the pastels wash me out i think it's looking pretty nice on my face and to try as many colors as i can beauties i'm gonna pick this brush that has a little bit of a slant and i'm gonna go into daydream this beautiful periwinkle color that's the name of this color and i'm gonna go under my lower lash line i'm kind of literally packing this and then i'm gonna blend it a little bit in by just drawing it across my lash line gloss gods if you want a little bit of feedback separate from the matte black issue obviously can you make these pans magnetic so they come out i would love to use these colors in palettes that i create myself because they're so nice ColourPop has released instant crush cream blush they come in their old blush pans i have a few of these old blushes in the powder format but it seems like these are in cream and they're already available do i have a price they're 12 dollars each color papa's prices are going up i was on their website the other day looking at you know these blotted lips and so on the prices are just going up i don't wear blushes that often i already have a lot of super shock blushes in fact it is i even have three of them right here on my desk which is why i'm not going to purchase any of these but they're available for you all if you're interested and also another thing from bella beauty bar we mentioned bella beauty bar earlier in the video is that they have a redone their the sun and the sea palette evidently this palette came out maybe a year or two years ago and they have now remastered it and they're going to release it sometime in july go on their website if you're curious maybe it's already available this palette is now going to have five unique multichromes four duochromes and nine mattes that are upgraded with their new formula i really like villa beauté bars like color stories all of that and maybe i could do something like this depends on when they release it right because there are a few other things we've already talked about that i'm interested in and the other part of it is that the color story looks a little neutral for me although the blues are super nice i'm looking for something colorful from bella beauty bar let's let's put it that way also i was gonna say i know i ruled out their matte their what was it favorite mattes best matte palette or something like that that they released that i talked about last week or the week before and then i realized that that palette was fully magnetic beauties so you all know what i'm thinking those kinds of palettes would be ideal if you're trying to make your own custom palettes beauties let's talk about this one because you all know i love glam shop one of my favorite brands i already have a video of all my swatches of glam shops i'll mention it in the description box below and i'm looking forward to them having a sale at a time when i'm not out of money to do some more purchase of single mats because their mats are buttery and pigmented and amazing glam shop also if you're watching this video please offer magnetic palettes please because i know you offer the same pans as singles that come in the palettes so just just make the palettes magnetic that'll be that'll be a win-win okay i wanted to mention they're releasing these or or maybe they have already it's already available so they have released it already this is called holidays 70s so i'm guessing it's a 70s themed trio palette now i'm too young for the 70s so i don't know if this is on point with the design and everything the palettes are a little bit too neutral and a little bit too light colored for me obviously because we know how i feel about pastel colors but i'm always excited to see releases from glam shop so i was excited to see this i don't have a price but as i mentioned it's already available so you can go check it out on their website beauties let's talk about this one tracy powder room which is not a brand i frequently talk about released this collection called summer days and it is a singles collection and i always love to talk about singles as you all know you like even if you are new to my channel if you watch the rest of this video you already know that i love singles it's gonna have seven singles these obviously the singles you're seeing on the screen in the collection i don't have a price but this should already be available on the site it seems like she says that she is going to bring it back it seems like it might be out of stock 
Beauties, this also dropped on the 19th from Spoiled Lip Cosmetics. And this is a collaboration with, I'm probably going to butcher the name, AKA Aislin. Is it Eileen? Is that how the name is pronounced? I'm so sorry. I feel so ridiculous not even being able to pronounce this. But I do want to mention this is so great. Anytime you see a collab, it's super exciting for the creator. I also looked up her Instagram and she does amazing and super colorful eye looks. There are seven vivid mattes, seven duochromes, five nude shades, and two highlighters. As you can see, the highlighters are in clouds. I'm not in the market for a rainbow palette. I have a lot of rainbow palettes. I probably should do a video about all my rainbow palettes, which is the reason I'm not in the market for new rainbow palettes but this is cute i can't deny that many congrats to her this was this was nice to see beauties let's talk about this one although i really don't want to talk about this one and that is she glam's collaboration with harry potter do i need to even say anything about this so there is going to be the palettes obviously representing each houses there is a lip mask there is a few lip glosses there is a lot of lip glosses it seems like those things that come in a little container glass looking container are also lip glosses i think you can buy the whole thing for probably less than 50 bucks these are like five dollars each i don't want to talk too much about this this looks like something you'd buy at claire's and i don't expect any different from she glam and if you don't know she glam is the makeup brand of Shein, which is the fast fashion, Chinese fast fashion brand. I have recently tried to educate myself about Shein and I've watched a few things online about it. I don't shop fast fashion and even if I do, it will be a rare incident for me to see something at, I don't know, H&M and go into the store and pick it up. But even if I do, it's probably going to last me from, for years. I'll probably use it for years. I'm not somebody who goes through clothing very fast. I also buy natural fibers mostly, and most of these fast fashion brands opt for very cheap polyester or cheap fabric that's made from byproduct of crude oil. It's hard to breathe in. It's sometimes it might even be covered in things that are not healthy for you. So I, I'm very picky with the types of things that I purchase. And honestly, you don't even need to shop for expensive things to be a little bit more conscious. A lot of the stuff I buy, I buy at Costco. Like, I buy clothing at Costco. I don't justify low quality with low price beauties. I think companies should give us high quality for a low price. I recognize that that might be too much to expect. So let's move on. Let's talk about this one. This is Nabla. We talked about their multichromes last week. So they have now although they call them magic chrome they have now sort of released what there's they're going to have and they're releasing all of these things the magic chromes this is like 32 shades of liberty multiplied by mono eyeshadows beauties what i'm understanding from this is literally that they are going to do single shades so you can make your own palette with single shades this is already released on july 11th and it's available on their website if you're interested I'm using a little bit of NYX Glitter Primer on my eyes. Beauties, I want to pizzazz it up. So I'm going to go into this one, Dreamscape. This is a beautiful color. Oh God, this is one of those insane multichromes. I'm putting this, oh my goodness. Ugh. Gloss Gods, what are you doing to me? This is exactly why, Gloss Gods, you should make these palettes magnetic because I want to use this in my own created sh palettes. Ugh. I'm going to pick the brush with the darkest color and I'm just going to blend this edge a little bit so we're not having any patchiness or anything. You can also do this with your finger. And then I am going to pick a pointy brush. This is Luxy 217 pencil brush. I'm going to go into this gold color i think you all know where i'm going this is kind of flaky so it's kind of falling off be careful with it this has a pink shift it has a gold shift i'm just loving it i'm gonna pick the last brush 
this is M06. I'm going to go into this beautiful, very light lavender, and I'm going to just brush this part out just to make sure there's no harshness. It's blended into my skin. I'm so excited, beauties. My eye look is done. I love this palette. I love this palette. This is why I do these videos, because I just colors like this and, and effects like this just uh, makes me so excited. But going back to releases beauties, because there's a few things that are still waiting. I have a few super exciting things. The first one is this one. And you all know. I'm not wearing my Cleona nail polishes, but Cleona released this collection called Mixology Patio Season. It was released on July. Well, actually, it's not released yet. It's going to be released on the 20th, but they have already revealed it. It's already available on the site. Like you can see them. You can't add them. It looks like it's sold out, but they are each color is available. And you all know, beauties, how excited I am about Cleona lacquers. I'm just I'm addicted to them. I'm addicted. When I think about them, it's literally like an addict thinking about what they're addicted to. Like, I just want more. I want them now. I want to have them on. Oh, they're so beautiful, particularly that pink one with the tiny blue glitters. I want it. And the blue one with the tiny pink glitters. I'm talking about Strawberry Mojito and Blue Hawaiian. But we all know nobody really uses lacquers that much. So it, it's not like an eyeshadow that you can do five different eye looks a day. How many nail polishes am I going to wear a week, you know? So... I'm going to try to control myself, but this is available and it's very exciting for me. And now that we're talking about Cleona, let me talk about the highlight of today, which is something I'm so excited about. But before I go to that, I do want to say Pat McGrath had, has done this reveal. I don't know what they're up to, but it looks like they're going to be revealing or releasing something soon. And the moment of truth is that if you've been waiting for Cleona to restock, wait no more they are going to have a restock i'm going to tell you all the date and everything but before that the exciting part of the restock is that they're going to have two new collections one of them is not super new it's the dimensional multichromes if you all remember during the new year during christmas they sent some people an extra dimensional multichrome who had purchased stuff i actually purchased a lot of stuff during their Christmas sales so, uh, or the holiday sales last year. So I ended up receiving one of their dimensional multichromes. I think it was Solder, the one that I received. And now they're adding a few or they have added a few additional shades to that collection. I'm going to put the photo on the screen. You can count how many shades that is. But this collection is going to be 130 US dollars or 170 Canadian dollars. They're going to be around $19 a shade. This is so exciting, beauties. And the second collection that they have released is a completely new concept. This is called Jeweled Light Multichromes. What I'm understanding about these is that there are going to be a new version of their Jeweled Multichromes. I have that whole Jeweled Multichrome collection. I bought it two birthdays ago as, as a birthday present to myself. And they're amazing. Now, beauties, if you've ever worked with multichromes, you all know that black face multichromes are not that easy to use because they are, you know, not everybody wears very black eye looks or very dark eye looks all the time. Majority of the day, we're not going to wear eye looks that look so extreme, which is, I think, why they have re-released them in the light version. So, I think the names of these are the same names as what they had in their black base multichromes, but they have a light in front of them. So for example, they used to have smolder. Now they have smolder light. They had forge, they have forge light, they have kiln, they have kiln light and so on. I don't know if I'm going to pick this bundle up. This bundle is 198 US dollars and 40 cents or 260 Canadian dollars. Also $19 a shade, and this is because of the number of shades that are in this collection. Because I have the black base multichromes, I don't know if I'm going to pick this one up, but I am super excited about the Dimensional Multichrome release. 
and then they are also going to have a restock of all of their multichromes so if you've been waiting on anything it is going to be restocked the restock is going to happen from july 20th to july 24th on their website and it's going to be 13 percent off of everything that they have so all of these multichrome bundles you can purchase for 13 percent off i'm pretty sure if there are single you want to buy them as singles you can get 13 percent off of that as well there might even be round pans available. I think they're already having round pans available on the site. So what I'm understanding is everything is going to be on sale for 13% off. Also, beauties, it seems like you can stack code. So don't forget to use someone's code on top of the sale because you can get additional dollars off. I know for a fact that I'm excited about two things. Number one is their deep iridescent multichromes, the bundle that I don't have and also the dimensional ones and beauties i don't know but there is a high likelihood that they will restock all of their lacquers so if you've been waiting on a lacquer this might be your chance to pick it up okay beauties i went ahead and put some of this ultra blooded lip in the color kitten from ColourPop on my lips this is the reformulated version i purchased as i mentioned already some of them to test them for you there will be coming a, the conversation around that is going to be in a different video but i put this on my lips i figured this kind of color goes with the eye look and it makes it super summery and cute i also put a little bit of this super shock cheek in the color glow burst on my cheeks this is from the video collection which was an older collection it adds a little bit of a nice warm glow to your face and i absolutely love using this i'm sure ColourPop has another color that is a dupe for this in their super shock cheek collection already but with that we come to the end of this video let me know of all the things I talked about. Which one are you excited about? Which one are you thinking about picking up? Which one are you not going to be picking up and you're just so unexcited about? And generally your thoughts about these releases, I can't wait to hear from you. Thanks again, beauties. I love you all. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already, but you're enjoying this kind of content. Have an amazing day and until next time. Bye.